be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's content. So today I wanted to talk about six different ways that you can manipulate and make unique samples, okay? Basically, I'm gonna show you how to take samples that you get off of Splice or get out of the Apple Loops or wherever you get your samples from or a sample pack and turn them to a unique sample. You feel me? Something that doesn't sound like everybody else's samples or you know what, what, what everybody else would do if they were to get that same sample. So we're gonna do six ways, okay? Now the first thing is to go ahead and create a software instrument track and under instrument, go ahead and grab this quick sampler, all right? And the second thing, of course, is going to be to go ahead and find a sample. Now to make it easy, I already went ahead and typed trap um, in splice and I'm just gonna go down till I see melody, all right? Now, I'm not gonna make it too easy for myself. I'm not gonna use samples that I already have heard before. I'm just gonna scroll all the way down here to some of these new trap melodies. And we're gonna pick one of them and then I'm gonna show you six ways that you can make these samples sound unique, okay? So let's check this out. So we're going to just take this and drag it in to the quick sampler like so. And now we have our sample in here. So let's go ahead and jump into the first way to manipulate this sample and make it your own. First off, we're going to go ahead and turn this uh, hourglass on and this follow tempo on. I'm going to pull up uh, musical typings by pushing command K. And what we'll do is the first thing is to pitch the sample up or down or play it in a different key. So this is the normal key. You know, simple thing to do is just take it up an octave or down an octave. You know, let's say play it in, play it as an A. Or we could do, let's say, D sharp. All right, cool. So we'll lay that down real quick. It's a little off, but whatever. Let's go ahead and. Lock it in place, quantize that jank, there you go. Just wanted to lock in place. I noticed that this sample was at um, 120 BPM, and so I just went ahead and turned off this follow tempo, and that way it just made it easiest for us to, you know, check it out. Anyway, let's go to number two. The number two way to uh, manipulate the samples is to go ahead and actually just reverse them. It's that simple. Just reverse it. So we'll go ahead and click on Quick Sampler, and right here where you see Playback, instead of you know having Forward selected, push on that, and it's Reverse is selected now. So let's go ahead and click on it and let's see what it sounds like. And I'm going to give y'all a little sauce, man. Like a lot of samples, if you just reverse it and pitch it up or down, I mean, golden. I'm talking about you make some fire stuff. And it would literally just be different than what most people would do based on if you pitch it up or down or and reverse it. All right, so that's number two. Number three is to put a high pass or a low pass filter on that sample. So I'm just gonna leave it going reverse. And I'm gonna go over here to the uh, EQ. 
and we'll cut out the lows and then cut out the highs. You'll see the difference of that sample. We'll see how it sounds. Just by cutting out all the bass and everything, it kind of sounds like a different sample. Especially with it reversed, you wouldn't necessarily know that, you know, the sample is what it is. Vice versa, if I cut out all the highs on this, can give it a different, whole nother vibe. So that's the third way to manipulate the sample. Um, I'll say a fourth way to do it would be actually to add something to that sample. Okay, so maybe play another um, pattern on it or, you know, add another melody on top and then resample what you just added with the sample. And now you have something a little bit different. So let's kind of do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and um, push this to go forward again instead of on the reverse. And we're going to create another track and I'm going to be using yeah let's go ahead and use Octave Deluxe I'm going to find a cool little sound to work with just to add something different let's see So simple like that, something simple like that. All, all I played is this. So check this out. We're going to resample this after I lay this down. You know, come over here, quantize everything. Got that quantized. I could turn it up or down, turn this a little bit down here. And then just take these two, highlight them. And actually, what you would want to do is instead of just dragging them over, you're going to right click and then uh, bounce it in place. You can name it here if you want, but just push, uh, push that. And now these two are combined as one. You can take this bad boy and then drag it right over here to the gray area and put it in quick sampler original. And now I have that sample back into the quick sampler and it's a little bit different. So if I come over here to my you know keyboard, it's literally a whole different sample to, to a certain extent. Even if you were to go ahead and reverse it. Okay. But that's the fourth way. Now, the fifth way is obvious. You know, you could just take just a small section of whatever sample that you're using and use that. So maybe instead of, you know, using this, the whole sample right here, I could just come over here and just use just this part. And I can come over here and reverse that. Or you can make it for. Okay, so that's that's one thing. Another thing you could do, okay, just basically chop up the sample or just use a part of the sample instead of the whole thing. Um, and then the last thing I'm gonna talk about doing to your samples is obviously adding effects. Okay, so instead of just playing it normal, ooh, that's hard. I'm gonna lay that one down. Cool. 
let's add some effects so we can make this thing sound a whole lot different based on the type of effects that we choose. These effects can be stock plugin effects or they could be third party effects. But let's, look, let's use a couple of stock plugins and see what we come up with. Um, usually you're going to have some good um, effects under modulation. And so we'll go down to Tremolo and see what we can come up with there. You see what I'm saying? That's a whole nother vibe. And you can come over here, just push this left or right here, or come over here and, and there's different presets you can choose from. And it just gives a different vibe. So this is before. I mean, before. This is after. Now, along with this, you can also stack effects as well. So I can come over here. I already have that tr uh, tremolo on there. I can come over here to modulation and let's do this ensemble. Throw that on there, see what we can come up with. So we got that. Let's maybe do one more effect here. You can come over here to like say even this phaser here. Doesn't take a whole lot. And then again, you can come in here and resample and then use any of the other effects you know, pre-mentioned ways to manipulate the sample in here. So I, I gave you six different ways, right? You can come over here and redo that same process on this over and over again. I can come over here and cut some of the uh, lows out if I wanted to. Cut a little of those highs out. So let it die down. And then you can re-add effects to this. You feel me? Like you could just really go in through here and chop this joint up until it's just something completely different, you know? Um, let's do a flanger this time. And a lot of y'all, if you, if you want to do like third party plugins, it goes without saying, you can also come over here and, and uh, go to Cable Guys Halftime Plugin.
and do what I said before, bounce it in place. And drop it back in there. And it's a whole nother sample. Anyway, y'all, that's just some quick tips when it comes to sample manipulation and making your samples unique. If y'all have questions, probably, you know, just go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, we out.